17 minutes ago, the bell rang here at Estumbo Middle School. As you can tell over my shoulder, the students are still here. We are going to show you what it's like for these students to wait, 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 and wait some more for the school bus. Instead of working, students talk and play. It is now 4 o'clock, 30 minutes after the school bell rang. The third bus has just pulled up. But with our rough estimate, we still count about over 150 students in the cafeteria waiting for their bus. Parents are now picking up their children because the wait times have become so long. And this is just after school. Buses are so late in the morning that students are constantly missing the first class. This school has an air-conditioned room for the kids, but that's not the case for other schools. Many wait outside, rain or shine. It's been one hour since a bell rang here at Estumbo Middle School and there's 11 students left waiting for one school bus. Administrators say waiting one hour is a good day. Last week it was closer to two. If the average wait time is one hour and 15 minutes, since school started the children have waited a total of 20 hours. That's 145 bucks if they worked at minimum wage. With that money, they could have bought 290 ice kekis. If they used those 20 hours to go for a walk, they would have covered 60 miles. That's like walking the entire island and back. If the bus riders put on soccer games after school, they could have completed 13 games. And if they jumped on a spaceship, they would be over a quarter of the way to the moon by now. We could go on, but you get the picture. 